investing $20 million online is a reflection of where we're at in the, in the conversation about where we're going in education. Instead of addressing the issues that have really caused our schools not to operate efficiently, we rather just off, off, offshore the cost to a private entity. And I think uh, the, the online learning is that next wave. Um, it's kind of like Ed Reform 2.0 where no longer um, are they going to emphasize smaller class size or smaller schools, but just put a child in front of a computer and have mandatory screen time. From my own personal experience, uh, my own children, I do not allow them to log in to computers at school online and with uh, information that can be traceable back to them. I also uh, was part of a rollout of Chromebooks within my own classroom and witnessed firsthand the lack of retention of knowledge that students actually uh, have when they're actually engaged in screen time learning the whole time uh, and rather than actually you know the interaction of a human teacher and the human interaction and process of learning uh, putting them in front of online situations or uh, actually limits their ability to connect uh, complex ideas and concepts. So how is what they're proposing different than a teacher using like the computer to teach a class. There's a teacher in the classroom and she wants to go online and teach them. What's the difference between that and what they're proposing? Well, the difference between online learning and learning uh, with the teacher using the internet as a tool, uh, it, the, the, the instruction therefore on online learning becomes the main instructor. Um, so therefore content can be limited and also can be dictated by those who make the programming rather than the teacher kind of interacting from multiple different sources and also connecting, stopping, pausing, and actually having a real human dialogue about the situation. A one-to-one -one Chromebook uh, thing thing at my school at Kensington Capital about two years ago and after two marking periods I realized students weren't retaining any of the information. When I asked a simple uh, recall question related to material that we covered early in the year related to the video and also kind of the content that was reviewed at the time I got a lot of blank stares and one of the kids said you know we don't learn nothing from these things and from that point forward I realized I need to get rid of having screen time in my class and actually limit that so even to this day I don't even allow side PCs to be inside the classroom uh, that that can be used for student use unless it's specifically for something that is very Re uh, regimented in what I'm going to do as part of the uh, process of whatever. And how long have you been an educator in a public school? I've been teaching, uh, this is my ninth year. I currently teach at uh, Kensington. I'm finding so many different 